the mirrors in Walmart like haunt my dreams. <laughs> they're just so, they're way too close for one. They're a little distorted. They're usually dirty from somebody doing something that they shouldn't be doing in there and it just kind of Answer me these questions three. The guy Diangular, is that right? <laughs> Diangular straps, stripes, shit. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Mandy. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. Today's video, I thought it would be a lot of fun to do another Walmart plus size Chine haul video. That was not my intended video this week, but I went into my local Walmart to get printer paper and things and came out of there with $200 worth of clothes, a headband, and plenty of chips. <laughs> <laughs> and no printer paper. What actually kind of made me do this video was I was shopping around in the most like obscure area of Walmart and I found this headband. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, that is really cute. It's from the brand Heritage, get it? You know, Heritage, a play on words. And I thought this headband was so stinking adorable. I don't know how it really looks on me, but like for a special occasion, maybe having hair up around it or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so this week's video is going to be a two-parter. Everything in this video is gonna be stuff that I found in store. And next week's video that I had planned already is going to be everything that I found online. And as always, I'm gonna leave all the links down to everything mentioned, both in store and online in the description box below if you're interested. So we're just gonna jump right into it. If y'all like this type of content and would like to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. You know your girl would appreciate it. And without further delay, let's get into this Walmart Plus Size Tron haul video right now. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the first outfit that I wanna share with y'all that I picked up from Walmart is not really your typical outfit. It's something that I found in my like little swimsuit area. And I was just instantly intrigued to try something different here on my channel. So the first thing I wanted to share with y'all is this swimsuit cover up from the brand Time and True. I picked this up in a size 3X, which is a size 24 to a 26, which is a little bit bigger than what I normally fit in. Normally I wear a size between an 18 and a 20. And I picked this up for $19.96 and I was just really, really in love with it. I thought it was super, super cool. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it is quite transparent, at least in person, it's more transparent than probably what you're gonna see on camera because of the lights. Normally, like my first instinct would be to pair this with a black bra and like some high-waisted underwear, but I am 41 years old. I'm not an internet baddie. I'm not an Instagram baddie. That's not really how I roll anymore. So I paired it with this dress from Tara and Sky, and this is really, really cute. So once again, this is a V-neck dress that also is sleeveless. And I actually picked this up in a size 0X, which is a size 14W because I wanted it to be a little bit more snug. So we're gonna start with this one with the details and then go to the first piece that I showed you in just a second. So I picked this up for $12.97. As you can see, it is a very nice sleeveless shirt. It also has almost a racer back detail. It's kind of like a more narrow in the back. And it has seams that go in the front and back all the way down. And it also has U-shapes, like a U-shaped seam right there at the front and the back. And I just thought this was a very, very nice dress. It's very simple. You can use it as a bathing suit cover up. You could even use this as a nightgown if you wanted to. So when you turn it around, this is what it looks like. And it's just a really cool, very interesting looking dress. It has some heathering detail that I like. And when you pair this dress, underneath this dress, it just kind of elevates it and makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, expensive and interesting. And really and truly the details of this dress is what really set me off with the whole idea. So it has the very nice collar right here and it also has black plastic buttons that go all the way down the front. So you can wear this really easily and open and kind of like leisurely 
in the front or you can button it down all the way and wear it as a duster if you wanted to. This dress also has three quarter length sleeves. So if you have problem areas in your arms like I do, my left arm is a little bit bigger than my right arm. It's just the way it is. It's just the way that I'm made up. So it gives me a little bit more confidence to show off my arms without really showing off my arms. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. So the second outfit that I picked out at my local Walmart is one that I think is absolutely freaking adorable. As soon as I saw the top, y'all, I was like a moth to flame. It is so, so cute. And this is what it looks like. And this is actually from a brand that was recently just online exclusive. So this is from the brand Sophia Jeans by Sophia Vergara. If you don't know who she is, Google her. She is absolutely gorgeous and her husband ain't bad either. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And this is so, so colorful. I'm not really sure if the colors are going to translate on camera into your computer or into your phone. But in person, it is very vibrant. It's got these beautiful flowers. It's got lilies and hibiscus and it's got these fruits and it has some adorable details. So it has this really cute knot detail right here. And I think this is a peplum style shirt because of the seamage right here underneath the boob. Hi guys, editing Mandy here. Really quickly, I wanna know y'all's thoughts about this outfit. When I'm looking at it on camera as I'm editing, I'm not really feeling it. Let me know, should I keep it? Should I return it? I think that the shirt is a little bit ill-fitting for me. I don't know. And the shorts, oof. Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> and then the bottoms that I chose to pair with this top are from the brand No Boundaries, and I am in love with these. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you're probably gonna recognize these because I have them in black as well and this is what they look like. So these are the paper bag shorts from the brand No Boundaries. I picked these up for $11.98. I got these in a size 21. They fit perfectly, almost a little bit on the big side. And I just think they are so stinking cute. And what I like about them is this nice, big, generously sized leg opening. It just feels really good when you're walking. There's no restriction. You could just do anything. You could ride bikes. You can go running. <laughs> you could do pretty much anything that you wanted to and not feel any sort of restriction at all. And I also love the fact that they are belted. So it just really goes with the whole like easy, breezy vibe of this outfit. And I just love it. So let me show you what the back of them look like really quick. They're kind of big and a little bit sort of on the mom side, but they're very stretchy. They just feel really, really good on the body. And I like the color story. This is like a medium wash. So I really like this outfit. It's really cute. It's very easy. It's very summer and I love it. All right, y'all. So we are halfway there. Now we're on to outfit number three and outfit number three is a little bit more relaxed. It's a little bit more grown up and it's something that you can definitely wear all the time, any season, wear to work, dress it up, dress it down, do whatever you want with it and go about your business. This is a great errands running outfit. This is a great wear at home outfit. And I'm gonna start with the bottoms and then work my way up to the top because the top is very, very simple. So I picked up these pants from the brand Time and True in a size 2X. So normally I wear a size between an 18 and 20 and these fit perfectly. And these were retail $16.97. And I really, really like these. They're very relaxed. They're just sort of a throw on type of pant that you can kind of throw it on and forget about it and still look really pulled together. And that's kind of what I'm about. If y'all watch me on Instagram or the things that I wear in my everyday life, I'm kind of like a, a casual type of bitch, you know what I mean? And these really do fit the bill for me. And the stripes are actually very flattering. They flatter your body very nicely. They camouflage everything. So if you have a bigger belly, if you have a bigger butt, if you have bigger thighs, these definitely kind of reflect that going all the way down and having that very linear long look. They also have very nice pockets that feel very good. So they have like this really nice material that goes in them and they are wide legged, which I really enjoy. They kind of feel nice. You kind of like walk in then they kind of hit your foot and these are quite long. So as I mentioned before, I'm 5'10" and they do hit my foot. So that's something to be aware of if you're a little bit shorter than me or even if you're taller than me. So the shirt that I paired with this is once again, very casual, but you can really do so many different things with these pants. And this is what it looks like. And this is once again from the brand Time and True. I got this for $4 and 98 cents. You just can't beat their t-shirt prices. If I had to choose between this shirt 
and a men's style shirt, like a shirt from George or a shirt from No Boundaries, I would probably choose the George and No Boundaries men's style because the way it fits is just a little bit more, I don't know, laid back and easy. This one is a little bit more tailored and it kind of conforms to the body a little bit more. Some may like that, some may not like it, but for $4.98, that's a pretty dang good, good price. You're gonna be styling, it's gonna be very, very cute. Wear it with some really cute flip flops, go about your day and look sexy as hell, but not trying to be. So now we're on to the second to last outfit of the entire day. And whenever I saw this one, I thought it was once again, very, very cute. That seems to be like the replay of every video that I make, but I'm telling you the truth. I have a true passion when it comes to clothing when it comes to things being really cute on a plus size person, it just does things to me. You know what I mean? It's always exciting to see something really cute that's flattering on a plus size person. So the second to last thing that I picked out at my local Walmart is a dress. So it's not like a complete outfit, but it's a complete outfit. <laughs> so once again, this is from the brand Time and True. I picked this up once again in a size 20 and I got this for $17.87, which I think is very, very reasonable for the quality of this dress. So starting off the top here, we're just gonna call it shoulder straps because I can't think of the other word. So these are stripy, fluttery, ruffledy shoulder straps. <laughs> and that's the only word that I can think of right now because I've been talking for like four hours. <laughs> so when you go down to the bust area, this is what the bust area looks like. So it is nicely smocked. Once again, it's got the stripe detail that almost looks like a barcode. When you go down to the rest of the dress, it goes down to a midi length dress and it's got these very nice diangular stripes to it. So it is incredibly flattering. It doesn't make you look larger. And I would say that this would be perfect for every single body type out there. If you have a larger bust, if you have a bigger belly, this is going to be perfect. It also has very nice, nice deep pockets. So if you wanna throw your keys in there, your credit card, a little wristlet, whatever you wanna put in there, you can do that as well and go about your day. You can even belt this if you wanted to. So when you turn it around, this is what the back of the dress looks like. Same smocking in the back. It also has the same diangular, 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 is that right? <laughs> diangular straps, stripes, shit. I just think this is so cute. And with a little denim jacket, when it starts to get a little cooler, red lip, high heel, something maybe like a little kitten heel. That would be so cute. A espadrille with these, it will look so high end, like you really, really tried, but you didn't really have to. And I think this is a winner, 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 chicken dinner all the way. All right, y'all. So now we're on to the fifth and final outfit of the entire day. And I gotta say, this one is gonna be my least favorite. I'm not really crazy about the bottoms. I really do enjoy the top. So I'm definitely gonna keep the top. The bottoms are definitely gonna go back. So we're gonna start with the top, talk about it, and then talk about the bottoms in just a second. So this is what the top looks like. And I saw this like hanging up on the wall area of my local Walmart. And I really enjoy this kind of deep scoop neck detail of this top. And once again, this is from Time and True. So Time and True is doing some big, things this year. They are just killing the game. I cannot wait until fall comes out to see what they have in store for us. So I picked this up in a size 20 for $9.98. And this just feels very soft, very luxurious, but it's not. It's very inexpensive. And the heathering in this is just great. It looks a little bit athletic, but also a little vintage as well. So it looks a little run in and lived in. It also has a little pocket right here. And then whenever you turn it around, this is what the back of it looks like. And what I picked out to wear with this isn't my favorite. As I mentioned before, it's just something that I, I wish I would have tried it on in store, but the mirrors in Walmart like haunt my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> they're just so, they're way too close for one. They're a little distorted. They're usually dirty from somebody doing something they shouldn't be doing in there. And it just kind of, they give me the worst camel toe <laughs> ever, like ever, ever. Like I pulled these on and I was like, whoa, Nelly, I'm just giving myself a yeast infection here. No bueno, don't like them. These are $24. So her stuff is not cheap. Um, it's a little expensive for Walmart pricing. You know what I mean? This is what they look like. So these are mid-rise. I didn't even mean to pick up mid-rise jeans. I thought these were high-rise um, jean shorts. 
and they're not. I also got these in a size 20. And I'm just not crazy about the uh, Sophia Jeans brand. Um, the shirt was really cute. I really like that. It definitely caught my eye immediately. But the jeans that I've tried like the first time whenever they originally launched, I wasn't really like wowed by them. I thought they were a little on the expensive side. They also had this like a uh, little leatherette detail in the back corner, like the back pocket area of your back and it has the little eye on it, which I really kind of annoyed by. And I don't know. What do y'all think? I, I like the distressing of these. Um, I like the distressing in the back pocket and I, I like the wash of them. I think they look really, really cool. I just wish they weren't so tight in the crotch. You know, uh, let me know in the comment section which outfit you like the most. Do you like any? Do you like any the least? Let me know because I don't know what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to return. So yeah, that's going to do it for this Walmart plus size Tron haul video, y'all. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. You knew your girl would appreciate it. Once again, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. I'm going to be seeing y'all very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.